Brian Monk here, reading from his book, Hawk, Part 10. On a good day, you will breeze past and nothing will harm you. The gods are on your side. All is well. Positive vibrations excel. Nothing gets in. It's all zen, flowing normally. It should be like this all the time. But with negativity in the world, we must be aware of other people's suffering. Otherwise, we're fooling ourselves that life is about success and overcoming all obstacles. It is to a point. If the Buddha is all-powerful, why, pardon me, why is Tibet overrun with Philistines and communists? God bless them. It's because Tibet invaded China 5,000 years ago. That's why. Karma, payback, reasons to be cheerful. Our lives are like the weather, like the oceans, ever-changing. If we are healthy, we ride the storms that come for us. Sometimes it's our ancestors who have passed on, suffering upon us unwitting, innocent victims of some stranger's tyranny in our personal or collective national lives. Do you wonder sometimes why, over the last 14 years, you feel like you're, you're no longer here with us on this earthly plane? Why you're feeling thin and light and substance? Why you've burned all your bridges with the past and no longer have your old frenemies and enemies that you used to? In fact, some old enemies seem to be always on your mind. Why? Why, God, why? Why is that? Pardon me. Why can't I just work without colleagues busting my backside during the week? Where's all the stress coming from? Have body snatchers taken over all the stupid people? Keep going seems to be the motto that's telepathically sent to us as we pass each other like ships in the night. Fourteen years of ever-increasing subtle changes that are taking over our lives at an ever-increasing rate. Day by day, week by week, decade by millennium. <laughs> it seems time is in a hurry, and all the freaks are zooming past us at light speed, laughing mentally at what's supporting their newfound agility. Teenagers are a sure sign that all is not well in the utopian world of the middle class. Nose rings, tattoos, ear pipes that spread the earlobe out in ever-widening loops, where some days, as they serve you your cappuccino, they don't bother to put in the ring, and their earlobe just hangs down, like a big clown's pocket. Is the body the last refuge of rebellion where expression has been dampened to such an extent that only celebrities provide sustenance? In itself, hidden behind headphones designed for military use, Belfast, where I live, is awash with 15-year-old tattooed pierced teens. They're everywhere. Purple-haired gombeans out for the winter, God bless them. Serious white trash. Hallelujah. It's a revolution. Uh, no offense and nothing personal. I don't want to die.